Blind since 1983, this man, simply known as Jens, is about to have a surgery that will radically change his life. That's because this sightless man will actually see for the first time in two decades. And you won't believe how doctors are planning to give him back his vision. Blindness has always been viewed as an irreversible condition, but Dr. William Dobell wants to change all of that. I think the future is going to be nearly perfect vision and probably with the visor, you know, something very similar to Star Trek. After experimenting with artificial vision for the past 35 years, Dr. Dobell has come up with a potentially groundbreaking procedure that will literally link a video camera directly into Jens's brain. Jens, who lost his sight in two separate accidents, is flown to Lisbon, Portugal from his home in Canada for the intricate operation, which is still awaiting final approval by the FDA here in the United States. The groundbreaking procedure begins when two holes are drilled into the head and an array of electrodes are wired from the brain into a pedestal which fills the hole in the skull. A permanent cable will later be jacked into the pedestal, feeding information straight into the brain. Amazingly, the only side effects of this procedure are headaches that will go away in a week or two. Once the surgery is completed, a tiny video camera mounted to a removable pair of sunglasses will send signals to a wearable computer. These images will be transmitted right through Jens's skull and into his brain. The brain interprets the signals as little dots of light, called phosphenes, allowing the once sightless patient to see the outlines and shading of everything around them. As you can see here, the artificial vision is similar to a scoreboard or light display, where individual points of light create shapes and movement. Because the patient lives in a world of black, the bright lights provide an image similar to a negative of a photograph. And once the system is calibrated, Jens literally learns how to see again. I'm aware that there is something out there. And usually with a movement of my head, I can figure out how big it is. I can see the trunk of the tree going up. And once I get to the top, right around there, I can see that the branches are going out pretty wide in another direction. Now when Jens travels to a city, he can actually say he's seen it. I was here in April, not being able to see anything in Lisbon. And I came home with a memory of nothing but the food for Lisbon and the weather. But now I actually have a good picture of the layout, which is absolutely nice. I know now that I'm actually in a park and I'm not just somewhere in an open field. And that means a lot to me. He still feels most comfortable walking with his cane, but the day may soon come when he'll walk without it. And he's not stopping there. Jens hasn't sat behind the wheel of a vehicle in 20 years, but now he's actually driving through this cordoned off parking lot. Amazingly, he handles the car with ease, able to visually avoid all obstacles. At a cost of over $100,000, the revolutionary procedure is effective on patients who lost their sight after the age of seven, after the visual cortex has been developed. For Jens, it's been a life-changing, eye-opening experience. Here's a blind man who was told there was no hope of him ever seeing again, and he can see again. I mean, that's priceless. I am free from the darkness, and yes, that, in its way, is the freedom that I've always wanted.